Okay, this is a follow-up video to my Euromastix enclosure. Uh, initial videos posted some time ago. I know I owe everyone an update, and here it is, uh, you know, a full-length, uh, seven-foot-long enclosure. It's approximately seven foot by 22 inches front to back and about 21 inches deep. It's got a custom base. Stand. It was built using two-by-fours. And uh, let's go ahead and get a little closer here. It's uh, quite brightly lit. Just uh, pan over. See, I've got some artificial cacti in the enclosure. I used Reptilite substrate. I found a pretty handy uh, piece of uh, uh, clay roofing uh, shingle or tile that served the purpose of a good little hiding tunnel. A few more artificial cacti. Now naturally the inhabitants are hiding out right now. They like to hide out in their nest box in the back. And they'll come out and uh, bask under the heat lamps. I've got a 150 watt Zoomed spot lamp over on this right side here and uh, temperature can get up to uh, 130 degrees plus directly beneath the beam. I also have uh, full fluorescent lighting across the top, a couple of uh, T5 lights, one of which is a, uh, you know, a uh, desert heat uh, UVA, UVB bulb. And over on the right side, I've got a power glow bulb. I believe it's 160 watts. To give them an opportunity to bask and uh, thermoregulate and also receive the appropriate amounts of UVA and UVB light. I've got little uh, feeding stations scattered throughout with seeds, uh, split peas, uh, you know I've got some uh, juvenile iguana food they like. I've got areas where I put greens in and uh, another little feeding station there in the back and I'll swap out the food as it uh, dries out or as they scatter throughout their habitat. Hopefully I'll have an opportunity to capture them out and about in the open. But uh, as you can see, they're all kind of hiding out right now. But at least here's an update for you of what the enclosure looks like. And I'll give you a view from above. It's uh, open air from above. There we go. And I had to create a little lip around the edge because naturally, uh, with the claws, they were able to climb up the background. And I had one escapee initially, but then I uh, fixed this uh, little lip here around the edge that prevents them from being able to escape. So, there you go. Thanks very much for watching.